Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the replace with method that is part of the JavaScript document object model. Uh, so basically, this method right here is relatively new and it allows you to replace a child node with other nodes. Um, and it definitely is interesting because um, it differs from the traditional JavaScript approach of replacing a child node that involves using the parent. This one here, you call this method on the child nodes themselves. So as I said, it's relatively new, but it's definitely very useful. And it is natively supported on modern browsers aside from Internet Explorer. If you want IE support, you need to use a polyfill. So anyway, uh, let's hop inside the text editor and I can actually show you how this thing works. So uh, to actually demonstrate this method, we're going to be creating a new div down here uh, with an ID of example. Inside here, we can make a new paragraph tag with some text, for example, sample text. Okay, and essentially, we're going to be using the replace with method to replace this paragraph tag with some other nodes. Uh, in the first case here, we're going to be putting an input element here instead. So let's go inside the JavaScript and firstly, uh, get a reference to the child node itself. So we're going to say const p tag is equal to document.query selector and we're going to select this right here. We're going to select uh, the first paragraph tag that is within uh, the ID of example. So now we have the paragraph tag referenced within the JavaScript. We can now essentially create um, a new input element. So we're going to say const new input is equal to uh, document.create element. We're going to be creating, as I said, a new input element. We can then say new input dot value and set it to I'm new just for a bit of clarity. So then down here, we can call the replace with method on the paragraph tag itself. So we can say p tag, uh, sorry, uh, p tag dot replace with, and we're going to pass in here the new input. This is saying we're going to get rid of this paragraph tag right here, okay, and we're going to replace it with this uh, input tag. Okay, so now I'm going to save this and refresh the page, uh, refresh the browser, um, and we can see here we've got the input right there. Okay, if I was to go back and just remove this line, save this and refresh, it is now of course the paragraph tag. So as we can see, uh, calling it directly on the actual child node itself can definitely come in handy. You don't need to know about the parent element in order to replace it. Now this thing also supports multiple arguments. So this means I can go down here and make something like a new button and say document.create element and we can create um, just a new button. So create element right here, button. Then we can say new button dot text content is equal to me too. Okay, then we can say new input comma, a second argument here and say new btn. Save this and refresh and now of course we get the input and the button itself. So once again, uh, definitely very useful. Now, if you want to actually um, append or uh, replace an element or a node, sorry, with some text, this is quite easy also. So obviously you can, uh, you can simply create a new text node and then append that to the actual uh, argument list, but you can even just pass in a regular string just like this. Okay, so for example, and I am some text, okay, and this right here, the method is going to take this string, it's going to convert it into a text node for you, and then uh, obviously add that to the actual uh, DOM. So I'm going to save this here and refresh once again, and we get and I am some text. Okay, so once again, uh, very useful. Um, now I also want to show you how, of course, because this method right here um, is called on a node and not just an element, we can actually uh, replace the text node that's inside here with something else. So 
to do that, I'm going to simply comment out this line, okay, then go down here and make a new strong element. So I'm going to say const new strong is equal to document uh, dot create element, okay, and make a new strong tag. Inside here, I'm going to say new strong dot text content and set it to I am new and strong. Okay, and then we can say p tag dot child nodes. We're going to select the first child node. Okay, so obviously uh, the first child node as part of um, as part of this paragraph here. Okay, so the um, the uh, first child node here is going to be uh, this text right here. In fact, let's put this back to this version. Sorry, guys. So. Uh, on this paragraph tag, uh, the, uh, the first child node is going to be this text node right here. Okay, so we're saying child nodes at index zero, grabbing the first child node. Okay, then we're going to say dot replace with, I'm going to say here, new strong. Okay, save this and refresh and now we can see that uh, we get I am new and strong. Inside the inspector, we can expand the paragraph here. We can see this time the paragraph has been uh, kept, okay, but instead we've simply replaced the first text node with this strong tag right there, okay. Now also one more thing of course, with this you can do something like this as well. You can say I am just new. This thing works the exact same way. You can pass in multiple arguments including strings. Save this and refresh and we get of course this right here. And that is the replace with method in JavaScript. Remember, this is natively supported on modern browsers, but you're going to need a polyfill to support Internet Explorer. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.